How are you doing, my friends? Let me bring you a short video of main attractions of the sacred city of Anuradhapura, Sri Lanka. The place we are approaching is the Sacred Ruanweli Stupa, which was built by the great king Dutugamunu. Anuradhapura was the capital city of Sri Lanka during the Anuradhapura Kingdom period. Established around the 4th century BC, this kingdom lasted for 1,400 years. Statue of Vihara Mahadevi, mother of King Dutu Gemunu. She was a courageous woman who once risked her life to save the country from a natural disaster. The statue we are going to see resembles the final moments of Lord Buddha's life. Wait a bit, I will explain in details. Closely examine the two feet. You will notice that the two fingers are not aligned, resembling the body's pain when the soul departs. So, you see, even Lord Buddha was just a normal human being. However, he discovered and shared the path to mental freedom. We cannot say that Lord Buddha has passed away, but that doesn't imply he is still living in the conventional sense. Throughout his life, his mindset evolved toward a state known as Nirvana. All his teachings guide us toward achieving that state of mind while we are still alive. Actually, I cannot delve further into this because I too am only on this path. It was raining when we visit again in the evening, but rain couldn't stop us. A stupa has several layers, each of which represents a spiritual meaning. Let me explain briefly. The very bottom three layers represent the three pillars of Buddhism, namely Buddha, the teachings, and Buddha's followers. Number four, the dome, which represents 37 understandings about the nature, Sathis Bodhi Pashvika Dhamma. Number five, four noble truths of the nature. Number six, six states of minds which called as heavens, Divya Loka. Number seven, noble eightfold path. Number eight and nine, permanent state of mind, Nirvana. The predecessor of this tree was the tree called Sri Bodhi in India, under which Lord Buddha sat during the week of his final process of attaining Nirvana. Well, I've only mentioned two sacred places in Anuradhapura so far. There are eight main sacred sites to visit, which I will introduce to you another day. May I suggest enjoying the lush views of rural Sri Lanka? If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Travel with Sujiva yet, may I suggest subscribing? Don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Well, I have one more place to show you, in addition to the eight sacred places. Enjoy the greenery before we proceed into that. Did you think these reservoirs are natural lakes? 
Certainly not. Ancient kings built thousands of tanks like these to release water for cultivation. What you are about to see next is the stupa called Sanda Haruseya, which was constructed quite recently. Still, this is at final finishing stage. <laughs> 